In Kiev's parliament, members began pushing back against President Yanukovych in November, November the 21st. The pro-European integration opposition chanted shame. The trigger, those in power had just hung up on signing a much promoted and desired association agreement with the European Union after working long and hard on it. The following day, Prime Minister Mykola Azarov tried to explain that the government's U-turn was a direct consequence of financial constraints the International Monetary Fund sought to impose on Ukraine. He said the decision to suspend was solely for economic reasons, and it is a tactical move. It does not change Ukraine's strategy of developing integration with the EU in any way. But by November the 24th, there was a great crowd of demonstrators in Independence Square, Maidan Square, the gathering place of the peaceful Orange Revolution of 2004. The emboldened opposition called for the government to step down. People ask for justice as a first step. We urge the government of Ukraine to resign and we claim for snap elections. The government dug in its heels. Opponents went to work chipping away at a statue of Lenin in central Kiev. Meanwhile, President Yanukovych was accepting a Russian aid package of 11 billion euros. But, far from calming things down, it inflamed protests. Then insult was added to injury when measures were passed by contested voting in parliament to toughen the law against public demonstrations. It was like pouring oil on the fire. In Maidan Square and Kiev streets, clashes increased between the police and Ukrainians who refused to accept the government's control campaign. 